percentage composition. So let's look at it. Law of definite proportion. The elements in a chemical compound are always present in the same proportions by mass. So it's always going to be, you know. So if we look at, um, you know, if, we're, if I'm asking you for one mole of oxygen, right, you're going to look at the, um, the molar mass, and we think, and we know that molar mass is in grams per mole. So if I ask you to collect one mole of oxygen, how much oxygen am I asking you for? Right? No. In terms of mass. In terms of mass. Right? How many grams, right? So how many grams is one mole of oxygen? No, you can just look at it. Oh, yeah, 16. 16, right? So 16 grams uh, is equal to one mole of oxygen. So now a mass of an element in a compound expressed as a percent of a total mass of the compound is the element's mass percent. Okay, so it might seem like a tongue twister, but we'll worry about it in terms of the, uh, the actual calculations and, and the steps that we use to calculate percentage composition. Now. For the chemical formula of water, H2O, the mass percent of hydrogen is 11.2%, and the mass percent of oxygen in water is always 88.8%. Okay, so here is a calculation, it's already been given to you. So when going through the steps, we found that there was 88.8% is comprised of water, uh, sorry, of oxygen, and 11.2% uh, is comprised of hydrogen. Okay, in a molecule of water. So, percentage composition. CO2 and CO both contain the same elements but have different proportions of these elements. Okay. So once you find uh, the percentage composition of carbon in, a, in one type of molecule, it doesn't mean it's going to have the same percentage in all of them. Okay, they'll always vary. So composition of a compound can be found in a number of ways. How many moles of each element make up one make up a mole of a compound and describe the percent mass of each element in a compound? Okay. It'll all make, like I said, make a little more sense when we go through some of the calculations. Okay, so just, just a little bit of the theory aspect. Okay. So the percentage composition of a compound refers to the relative mass of each element. Okay, so we take how much um, do we have of the, the actual atom, we look at how much is it in one mole of the atom, and we calculate the percentage within that compound. So a, co a compound's percentage composition can be a valuable tool to identify the formula of an unknown compound. So if you were given a, a compound and you were able to find out what percentage of the various atoms are found within it, you can actually figure out what the formula of that compound is using these kind of calculations. So, let's look at the first uh, sample problem. A compound with a mass of 48.72 grams. Okay, so we have a compound of it. Within this compound, it's made up of the following two atoms, or elements, zinc and sulfur. How much zinc we have? Well, 32.69 grams of it is zinc. 16.09 uh, grams of it is sulfur. What is the percentage composition of this compound? So what you want to do is you take pretty much how much you have of zinc and you divide it by the total mass. Oh, it's like getting your mark. Exactly, it's just like getting your mark, right? So mass percent of zinc is the mass of zinc divided by the mass of the actual, the whole compound times 100. So to find the uh, mass of sulfur, same thing. Matt, take the mass of sulfur and divide it by the actual mass of the compound. So, here are the calculations. So, what is the uh, mass of zinc? What is the mass of zinc? Okay, 32.69 grams. Divided by, what's the total mass? 48.7, oops. 72 grams, right? So we divide those two, and we get a percentage, and then we multiply it by 100 to actually get it in percent form. And what is the percent form? 67.097. Okay, so 
zero nine seven, so sixty seven point one zero one. Right? One and we out. So it'll be um, one zero. Okay. Percent. Okay, so do you guys see why it's it's one zero? Okay. What was it originally? It was sixty seven point zero nine seven, right? We want how many significant digits? Four. four. So we take these four. We look at this one, and this, these are the, tr the tricky ones, right? Because this nine becomes 10, right? So we carry the one, so it becomes 67.1. But how many significant digits is that? Three. Three. So what do I do? I'm able to just add a zero. Okay. Percent. So what we can do is just subtract 100, right? Minus... 67.10 to find the other percentage. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to calculate it. Okay, so we're going to calculate it here. So we've got 16.03 uh, grams of sulfur divided by 48.72 grams. Now notice what my units are, percent, right? Because grams cancel out times 100. And what do we get? Print 32.90. Or is there, were there any? Okay, we'll do that many. Okay. So we need how many significant digits? Four. So we take those two. And we get 32.90%. Okay. So in the end, well, we have 67.10% uh, zinc, and we have 32.90% of sulfur.